Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda Vang. And I'm Michael Saldana. And today we are in Santa Clara, the beautiful neighboring city next to San Jose. This community is huge. It has single family homes and town homes. Uh, price is starting at 1.2 million to 2.3 million. This is gonna be a really nice community. They're gonna be building a lot of community areas like a clubhouse, there's gonna be dog parks, there's gonna be turf areas for yoga and soccer. They're gonna have some commercial space and it's gonna be really nice. This is a true community and we are very excited to show you around. So far, we are having a great time here. Okay, so we're gonna get the tour started. We're here at the Terraces Plan 5. This is a home with 2,200 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and side-by-side -side garage. There are so many levels of detail in this home. I really love how they built it. It is just really nice inside. I'm gonna run out of breath and I'm gonna talk really fast. So before we even get inside, look at this front door. They have frosted glass. I love glass in the front door, but you have to frost it so people can't like see. Beautiful. Uh, Black hardware, I already know we got this black hardware going on in the front door. It's gonna be more of it inside, Be beautiful. It's a digital lock, you know, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything like that. Got a ring doorbell. I haven't even set inside, set foot inside, inside this home yet. Look at this. Even in the entryway, you can tell that it's really nice. I love, first you've got this dark wood on the handrail and then this, uh, the white eased edge on the door as well as the floor. I love this eased edge. Um, that's what it's called. There's no design. It's just an easy edge. Beautiful. Dark hardware. I look the flooring to what they've done. It's, um, you don't see glossy flooring very often, but it's here and it's really nice. It's actually throughout the entire house. It's just really good. Um, first up, we have the first floor bedroom, very common with, uh, these, uh, stacked three story homes, four story homes. Um, I love this accent wall, not just any accent wall, not just painted with, painted with these wood, these uh, parallelograms or whatever you call them on here. Very nice. Um, going into the bathroom, once again, you've got the eased edge on the trim. This bathroom is like an oasis. Look, they've even done up these old fashioned light bulbs to give this whole atmosphere, like you're going into the grotto. Um, you know, I love just this countertop, it's quartz, but it's a nice pattern and design, that dark, beige and brown, the gold almost, beveled edge mirror. I love this floor to ceiling mirror, big mirror, black hardware. We got ah, really nice. I love these cabinets with this, uh, this little flat little metal opener. Very nice. Look at here, a nice shower stall, very, you know, dark hardware, curtain. Oh man, I love that. Look at that, that shower head, all that black. Very nice, very cool. All right, let's take a look upstairs this home's gonna get even more nice wow wow quick little pit stop look at this window picture frame window but i love look how thin the frame on the picture frame is it's like the size of my finger so that you get less frame and more light it's the first time i've seen windows like this this is uh, they're a little more expensive and another cool detail look at this they have little little hip lights on the under the hallway Actually, that's not what they're called but those are cool love it love it Okay, now we are on to the main second floor. Once again, we have the glossy tile in the floor. I love the pattern. You see it's two in one direction, then two laid in the other direction. These are big tiles, like three foot, three foot by one foot tiles, really nice. Looking over here at the kitchen. I love this kitchen. Look at this. They've got this beveled glass tile for the backsplash. Same color as the cabinets. Floor to ceiling cabinets. This is bigger than 42 inches. This must be an eight foot home, yeah. Uh, bigger than 42 inch cabinets, frameless design. I love this modest countertop. It's not screaming for attention, but it has a little bit of design. Um, cool sink, stainless steel, but it has these like little geometric things in it. I have no idea. It's probably for like a tray. Yeah, it has those fancy little trays. I love this refrigerator, look at this. They have the custom panels in the refrigerator to match the rest of the kitchen. Very cool. This is the monogram. This is a full monogram set. So you got the monogram fridge, 
the combo oven. You got the stove top installed right, right into the countertop as well as the oven right below it. Gorgeous. And then I love they've done the backsplash all the way up to the ceiling. Very cool. Very cool. Not only that, but they also have a little mini wet bar. And I love that they've done a step down. So this is at like what you would call wet bar height. And this is standard kitchen counter height. It's like 34, 36 inches. So it's a difference. You know, like I said, a lot of little details in this house really, really make it shine. Um, looking over here, once again, we've got this beautiful accent wall, the beveled glass tiles. I love what they've done with these glass shelves and the gold hardware goes with everything. I love what they've done with the patio here. You can access patio from both sides. Imagine having this door and this sliding door open at the same time, just let all that air through. You can just get the whole flow of people and whatever you got going on. Beautiful. Okay, over here we have the living room. I love what they've done. Once again, the windows, not just the picture frame windows, but even the normal windows, they have like a slimmer frame to get a little more light in. It takes up less room on the walls. I love this ledge. Once again, it's the same ease edge that I was talking about for the baseboards and the trim. This TV setup is really nice here. I really like little TV setups like this one. So this one, we've got the wood and all the way over the top, and this really nice textured tile uh, behind the TV to give you that backlit, that backlit effect. Built-in cabinets, same as uh, what you saw in the kitchen. Really nice. Okay, over here we have a half bathroom and the laundry room. Once again, same theme, compact half bathroom. I see that you've got a Kohler low flow toilet. Very nice for those that are water conscious. Also got some uh, little laundry room in here, cabinets, two machines, got some light. Very nice. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look at what's going on. All right, now we're on the top floor. Let's start off with the two smaller bedrooms. First up, this is what I call the soccer room because they've done this. This is this soccer ball was beautifully painted on the wall. I, I was looking at the workmanship. This was hand painted. I thought it was like a Fat head sticking up, someone painted that ball. They must enjoy soccer too. Very cool, I love it. Not only that, so once again, they have the same eased edge, same style throughout the whole house, beautiful. Over here, we have the little girl's room. Very nice, I love what they've done here, just the white and the pink. I love these flowers they painted on the wall. What's he, wait, these are, oh, these are stickers. That's okay, these are stickers. Still cool, still cool. <laughs> Still counts. I love what they've done with this show box too. Very cool. Representing. And then they've also even got a little walk-in closet. This is cool. Your little girl would love this. A little walk-in closet all for herself. Nine foot ceiling stacker stuff all the way up there. This room even has crown molding. I must have missed that in some of the other rooms. Oh no. This room is the only one that has crown molding. Oh, very cool. All right, this hallway bathroom, I love this hallway bathroom. Normally a hallway bathroom, you wouldn't think, oh, just a little whatever, but this one, look at this. So it's like a galley style bathroom, just long and narrow, but to kind of counteract it, they put these enormous mirrors in here. From all the way up here to the ceiling, it's a taller ceiling, a nine foot ceiling, so big mirrors make it feel bigger, even though it's just probably about five feet, a little over five feet wide like this, yeah, five feet. You know, what they've done here, so they put these, um, panels that are, I think, the same quartz as countertops in the shower. Black hardware, very nice. They even have a private room for the toilet with an accent hall. Very cool. Levels of detail everywhere. Okay, here's the master bedroom. So you start off with a little sitting area, that's nice. Over here, immediately, you have a full-on walk-in closet, a lot of storage, shelves, everything that you need, two sides. Very cool. Um, I love what they've done with the accent wall. The accent walls keep getting cooler and cooler. This is the first one I've seen that has mirrors in it. So a lot of people say like, when you put mirrors inside your house, it makes it feel bigger. I mean, this house is pretty big already, but it's cool. I like this. Tall mirrors go right next to the headboard, built-in cabinets. They're actually floating. Yeah, very cool, floating, floating, yep. Uh, over here, we have a small patio area so you can enjoy your coffee, have a nice time. And over here, we have the bathroom. Man, this bathroom really wowed me. I love what they've done with the shower. This natural stone on the walls going from floor to ceiling. This frameless shower door with the dark hardware. I love that design, very cool, very nice. Um, got the glossy stone floors, quartz countertop. I love this also floating cabinets. Look at that, floating, floating, floating. 
<laughs> uh, private uh, facilities over there. Got a window so you can get some sunlight. What a beautiful, very cool bathroom. Really like it. Really like it. Okay, that about wraps it up for this house. If you like what you saw, get in touch with Amanda and on to the next one. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to us. Uh, if you would like a tour of this community, don't hesitate to reach out. And we will love to help you find your dream home. This community, don't forget, it's located in the heart of Santa Clara, so just a stone's throw away from all of the Sunnyvale tech companies. Get rid of that commute. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.